Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Caroline of Caroline's Plans and I'm back with a new um, D stash organize my stickers video. You saw me put away that uh, sticky essentials watchy tape in a pouch from Erin Condren. I'm also going to link my most commonly shown stickers in this video, their shops, in the description box below. If you have any specific questions as to where anything is from, please leave it in a comment and I will be happy to respond and help you find whatever you're looking for. That folio that I keep my de-stash or to be organized items is from Erin Condren. Those two pieces that I'll use for my easy folio setup are from an Etsy shop that I will link below. I'm mainly de-stashing two of my recently used kits. That one is from Glam Planner, Strawberry Mimosa, and the other is the kit that I finished using in last week's spread. That is Tiny Grad from SPC, Plan With Me's for both of those spreads, where you can see those kits in action, as well as some other uh, goodies that you can see here, are both currently uploaded on my channel. Uh, here I'm just organizing some of my film edit and upload scripts from Netty Designs and Kinsey's Creations. I started organizing them by type, film, edit, and upload, but then I decided to organize them by color and then put them together so I would be able to grab just the silver or just the rose gold. Um, this sheet of gold headers is going back in my small foil binder where I keep all of my Glam Planner foil binder bundles. The binder is a mini binder from Amazon. I'll link it below. And then I'm just putting away some of my foil items and extras as far as washi and headers go as well as a freebie. Uh, in this video, I did want to answer two questions that I got from Facebook. The first of which comes from the Glam Planner Facebook group from Michelle Wan. She asked me, what is your favorite Glam Planner kit? I have too many <laughs> to narrow it down to just one. So I have a few to talk about in answer to this question. My favorite fall kit is Glam Planner's Cider Lane Kit. I love the rich fall colors. It was my transition into fall kit this past year. I love the artwork and the hedgehog in this art is adorable. So that is definitely my favorite fall kit that I've used so far. My favorite winter kit from Glam Planner was the kit that I used for Christmas. It was called Noel. This is my favorite, not only for the art, but for the memories that I got to put down in this spread. I was doing some traveling with my family to visit my extended family, my grandparents on my mother's side of the family, over Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, and there were a lot of wonderful memories that I enjoyed putting down using that spread and that artwork. The next one is a kit, an April themed, rain themed kit that I used. It's an old one from Glam Planner. I used it the first time that I Franken planned my first vertical spread. For those of you who don't know, I am currently in an Erin Condren teacher planner. However, I recently made the switch over to the Aura SL Cloud inserts, which I'm currently using and then taping into my Erin Condren Teacher Planner, which I'm going to use that method 
until July when I switch over to my first Erin Condren Life Planner. The first week of April was the first week that I did a whole bunch of planner math and figured out how to use my Erin Condren Teacher Planner as a vertical planner. And I used this kit to create my first vertical spread within that format, which was really exciting. And I love the artwork and I love how that spread turned out. All of these spreads, by the way, you can find on my Instagram. Let's see. I think my favorite Glam Planner kit, though, that I've used so far is her Titanic kit. The art is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are so rich. And I was so impressed with the way that Elle formatted the full box overlays in silver. They just came out so stunning and they really added to the experience of the artwork and it's just one of those spreads that I always look back on and really appreciate the artistry of it. Another one of my favorites is my is in my plan with me from two weeks ago. I used a summer kit called Strawberry Mimosa. It's a recent release to the Glam Planner shop. I loved this kit for the rich summer colors and that I got to use this kit in a spread to celebrate my mom's birthday so a lot of good memories there as well sorry I couldn't narrow it down to just one <laughs> uh, the next question comes from the Scribble Prince Co Facebook group from Rachel Lyons. She asks a two-part question. What is your preferred kit size? And she said, I hear people talking about using one ultimate kit over two weeks. Is that frequently done? That's the second part of the question. My preferred kit size is the mini kit for my planning style, which is no white space. I have more than enough stickers when I use a mini kit and I do always have leftovers that I keep in this binder that you're seeing here and I use the leftovers in future spreads if I ever need an extra box of a particular color or a particular size or pattern I can go into my leftovers binder and pull something if I don't have it in the kit that I'm using for that week. I do think that it is common in the planner community to use one ultimate kit over two weeks. However, that's not part of my style because it's um, not my preference to have two spreads that look similar or have very similar art because they come from the same kit. Uh, even if they were spread far apart in my planner, it's just, it's just not my thing. I'd rather save the leftovers from the mini kits or whichever size that I have in my leftovers binder to pull from if I need something specific for a later spread. Uh, thank you so much to Michelle and Rachel for taking the time to ask a question for me to use in this video. Anyone else that has um, questions for me, planner related or otherwise, feel free to leave them in a comment down below or in a comment on any of my Instagram or Facebook posts. I love getting those questions. They give me really good inspiration for these voiceovers. And I think that they give me an opportunity to show a little bit more of myself and my planning style. and. It helps me get to know you all a little bit better. So I really enjoy, enjoy doing that. Thanks so much for listening. Um, that's really all that I have for now. I'm going to go ahead and put some music down for the rest of this tea stash. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I'll see you all soon. Uh, leave any requests for future videos in a comment below. 
and stay safe and happy and healthy and we'll speak soon peace love and happy planning everybody bye bye